We're going to comb this beard out. Check there's nothing in it. The knots, food, drugs from the Berlin. Yeah, I'm going to keep the length. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to taper this anymore. I like the thickness through the ear there. So I'm just going to take off any strays. And we'll probably cut in a nice straight line under there as well. Okay, so even just what I've done there, if you look in that mirror straight on, you'll see the difference between how thick this side is and how thick that side is. And I want no more than that off, basically. Yeah, I can it, yeah. yeah. But I was looking around, I was thinking, it is pretty short, but I was looking at your um, tube tapers, and there's no hair, I was like, what did you go over? Yeah. You went over and the lift? Yeah. But I had to look at the outside. No, just keep checking in the mirror as I go. That I haven't taken too much off. These are probably like a lift, but I haven't taken too much off. Normally I'd blow dry the beard, but I didn't need to on this one. Hair was already in good condition and it was nice and straight. Well, when I'm cutting this, this angle in here, I'm going to keep my client nice and still where he is. I'm going to take the headrest, just pull it down slightly so that he can drop his head back for me and sleep forever. And that allows me to see this angle here. So I can see the tip. He said he's already told me he wants me to leave the length. So I'm going to work from there inwards. I like to put a nice straight line in first and then I can work on rounding the edge or squaring it, depending on his preference. So, literally, I'm gonna st I can see what I've got to take off. There's a, natural, there's a natural round to this beard anyway, just these stray hairs to shape. I think it's a single square thing. You can do for squares that people around. Yeah, I definitely like the square. It's, uh, it's like a sailor's beard, isn't it, the square one? You know, the pipe. Mm. Now we're just going to take the angle off. I don't think you'll be able to see it from there. It's kind of straight on. So if you look on that side now, you'll be able to see. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. You just took your head slightly that way for me. It's really easy to make the beard uneven, so it's very important just to keep cross, cross checking it in the mirror, making sure that you're only taking a little bit at a time. Okay, what's the plan with the moustache? I want to keep the length. Yeah. On the side, no, no, no. Do you want a fishtail in the middle? Yeah. So a little triangle there, yeah? And kind of clear the bottom yeah. there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to start lining it up. I've got a general shape. I'll apply some balm at the end, flat it down, maybe trim a few stray hairs with scissors. But from this point onwards, we're going to be lining. So I like to pull the skin nice and taut. And we're just taking those hairs that are giving a rough appearance off. 
Not looking to make it look too manicured under there as it's full beard. Okay, at this point as well, I'd like to just get the client to drop his head so I can check the shape of that. Are you happy with the shape of this as it's going, yeah? So we can tidy up on the sides as well. But we're looking in just here now, yeah? Yeah, that's a nice round appearance it is. Okay, head back to there for me, sir. Okay, so I'm going to drop just ever so slightly down and we're going to work on this moustache. So the bottom line here needs to be cleaned. I like to clear that little bit there as well. Are you going to be joining this moustache to the beard or do you like to separate? Uh, separate. Separate, yeah. Okay, now take scissors. Just clear those few hairs there. <laughs> Roman War. The Roman War. Yeah, well, Hastings. Yeah, yeah Mahesh was there. So I'm just keeping the, the I haven't really took out this. I'm kind of keeping it a natural high line to go with a full beard. Yeah, I take Ronnie and Reggie Cray definitely. Right, this is my favourite bit now. So we're going to blade up. So on a long beard like this, a lot of people use gel and, and it gets all in the beard and it becomes a bit messy. But I just like to use water. This is going to give the beard a nice sharp finish, which is my kind of style. We won the Olympics. <laughs> it's sort of like carbon, isn't it? <laughs> Just trim the eyebrow over there. And this line here, you haven't got to actually take up, just take it up to the hair, but you haven't got to take any hair off. There's only a few hairs that create the line. So I'd rather be somebody... Yeah, and less in the line like can't do Okay, so we've finished trimming now. I'm going to bring the client back up to his resting position. Dave just said he wanted to be Chuck Norris. What? Chuck Norris? Because Chuck Norris isn't actually that bad. <laughs> Chuck. You can't actually. Chuck Norris is solid, mate. Jet, Jet Lee was checking. There's only one person. No, there's only... Yeah, actually, Bruce Lee knocked out Chuck Norris. Do you know that? Yeah. Bruce Lee knocked out everybody. Bruce Lee knocked out everybody. <laughs> okay, so we're looking pretty good here now on the shape. So, I'm just going to get these scissors. Well, if you look at Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, they've been caught tax evasion, and anybody else would be sent to jail, but they just get slapped. Once they get caught doing it, tax evasion. Right. I'm happy with that shape, I'm happy with that finish. Is that okay for you, yeah? Cool. So, we're going to put some styling balm in. We've got a choice of two. We've got Tree Ranger. Tree Ranger and Tea Tree. Oh, yeah. We do super stuff. Yeah. Actually, 
So on a beard this length, just tilt your head slightly back to me. So I'm going to work it under first. Everybody's got their own different way of doing this, but my way is I like to get it into the root of the beard as well. Not just the uh, actual hair. And then I'm going to start working the ends of the hair. Let me take a nice beer comb. The depth, the difference between these combs and a normal barber's comb is the depth, so you can get right into the beard. I've got to try and get some yeah. Brian Warren's yeah, yeah, nowadays they're pretty, um, not, not safe, obviously, but a lot more so space between the kids. Can you get me one of those? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's nice and clear now. And it's set. Alright, good. Happy? Yeah, yeah. Oil in there, Yeah, I think a bit of um, a bit of balm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sick, man. Going to the lovely private stock. Good. We're we gonna do a spin or? Oh, you look beautiful. Happy? I'm happy. Man. Did, did, it, did it worth the trip from <laughs> Berlin to <laughs> England to get your hair? <laughs> you got a video of it as well, man. It's like a souvenir, isn't it? I had to take pictures of it. Okay. Does that feel okay for you? Cool. Mm -hmm. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.